Wilson and awesome. one of the instructors for Unitech, the high, uh, the number one in class pass at Green Sacramento of all the colleges. <laughs> Whoa, that was like a mouthful. What about you, ma'am? <laughs> Hi, my name is Brooke, and I'm one of the LVN students at Unitech. Awesome. And this young lady just took my blood and said I, I, had, per I had perfect, perfect blood sugar. Perfect blood sugar. I'm Melissa, awesome. uh, also a third semester student at Unitech. So. Awesome. Give me five. All right, ma'am. Tell us a little bit about your program and what you're doing here at the standout. Okay. Well, we're here to help the homeless. That's our mission for women and children. Okay. Tell, yes. us, tell us how that changes their life. How do they feel once they come in off the streets and get oh, your services? Oh, they're so thankful. Mm -hmm. Some days when it's 100 10 out here, they have a respite able to come into our area because it's cool, they can um, read, they can, you know, take a nap. We have a clothes closet, they can get clothes for free. We provide showers for them. So tell me why you love, this, love being involved with it so much. What makes you so happy about it? Because you've got the most beautiful lap. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I know it has I... a lot to do with the great work you're doing. <laughs> Um, I enjoy the people. They're so appreciative. They're so nice. Uh, people, I think, have a, a bad impression of homeless people, but they, the families that come in, they just need some place to come and, you know, have a little respite from being out on the streets or being in the river bottoms. And uh, it just gives me such a wonderful feeling to do it. Awesome. I love That's it. One of my favorite guys from 2012, Fred Young. Hello. They were the Christian Motorcycle. What are you with? What is this again? Christian Motorcycle Association. Awesome. What do you guys do? CMA. What do you do, man? We minister to everyone on the highway, whether nice. they got a motorcycle or not. Awesome. We serve all our veterans on the highway, yeah. whether they got a motorcycle or not. And we go to the jails and minister to everybody inside. That's beautiful. Yep. You know, and I, I can say I can vouch for Fred because I spent a half an hour, 45 minutes talking with Fred. Fred rules. I really do. I do. I mean, I think. Jesus rules. You said you're here giving out jobs. I am. Well, not I'm giving here to them give out. Well, I'm here to offer jobs uh -huh. from Nevada Automotive Test Center. We hire a high percentage of military veterans to test military vehicles out in the Nevada desert. We wow. test Humvees, tanks. We test them for armor plating. We uh, blow them up. We have our engineers analyze it. We have them drive the vehicles to test their durability, uh, test their safety. Um, we've done a lot of work for the military since 1957. We've been doing that. Our uh, owners are Marine, second generation Marine Corps veterans. Awesome. And I'd say probably about 30% of our employees are military veterans. So you could get a job here, like blowing things up? Well, you can get a job driving the vehicles. You don't get to actually blow things up until you pass security clearances and if you're an engineer and specialize in, in ballistics and EOD type of background. So it just perfect. depends on your background. What do you guys do for PS PTSD and the whole Welcome Home Vets? So, hey, thanks. My name is Ed. We're with Welcome Home Vets. What we do is we help veterans and their family members who are, have suffered from psychological trauma. We help get them in touch with local therapists who can help them uh, deal with their uh, symptoms uh, from PTSD, depression, any other types of mental illness that they might have. You know, the challenge is uh, people don't want to drive to Sacramento, people don't want to drive to Reno in Grass Valley. They need someone local, and, and we, we, we feel that need for them. Awesome. Give me yeah. five. Give me five. All right. All right, I'm here with a, with a I'm going to call him an old friend just from 2012. That's not that long ago. We have Gary. What's your last name, Gary? Brown. Gary Brown. He's with St. John's, and he also started this. Uh, uh, nonprofit. What was it called? The Welcome, Welcome Home Veterans. Home vets, yeah. Awesome. And we were just talking as Christians about the need. The best way to support veterans would be to pray for peace. I mean, what would you have to say to that, Gary? Yeah, well, I agree. I think that uh, most veterans, most people in the military, would like to see peace. Yeah. That's the primary purpose mm -hmm. for joining, and that's the primary for purpose for being there. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the, and the more we pray, I think the more that God will answer those prayers so. yeah amen to that and if we get in a quick follow because i know gary from st john's he was just coming over he's the deacon over there now loaves and britches maybe give us like a 30 second update on all the unbelievable work that this small congregation does in the ubersada county area oh that's pretty phenomenal actually <laughs> it's a very small uh, congregation we usually have about 40 to 50 people on a sunday but we have a beautiful facility that used to include a school room so we have a lot of room and uh, we have a food shelf which uh, has which is serving twice as many people mm -hmm. as it did last year uh -huh. and uh, we have a clothing closet which is used clothing that we give out to the homeless and that's also serving many more people 
We have a free community lunch on Wednesdays. We used to do it the last Wednesday of the month, and now we're doing it every Wednesday. Wow, we that's have a awesome. different a different group coming in to do the cooking and preparation of the meal. Right there at St. John's at Hall, it's a nice John's. hall. It's yeah. a beautiful hall with right. that beautiful foyer outside. It's right. gorgeous there. Exactly, nice awesome. patio and the whole bit. Um, and we we're support we're supported also by the police department of Marysville, who have been doing one of the lunches on a regular basis uh, once nice. a month. Nice. That's nice. Uh, and we are also in a collaborative with the, that includes the police department, the mayor, uh, and some city officials from Marysville with the goal of how do we make Marysville, uh, Marysville's homeless, uh, sustainable again. How do we help them get awesome off the street? Uh, the police are really supportive of um, what we're doing with the homeless. Their policy is not one of enforcement, it's one of support. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've introduced us to some of the leaders of the homeless camps, and now those leaders are coming to St. John's and setting up volunteer programs so that some of the homeless come and have something to do mm -hmm. with their time, um, something constructive to do. Uh -huh. And we're talking also about working with the mentally ill who are on the streets right. of Marysville. And, a lot of the homeless population is mentally ill yes. or substance abuse uh, dependent and those people were looking for innovative programs to try to help them. Now what did you see down by the river with the with the with the police if, if what what touched your heart when you walked down there for the first or second time? Uh, just the sense of community that some of yeah. those people have that's amazing to me. Yeah. Uh, the one of the women who uh, comes on a regular basis is sort of the designated mayor mm -hmm. of one of the encampments and she and her boyfriend are really active it is helping and they, they they can tell us what the homeless folks need how are you guys doing how'd you like stand down you uh stand down is wonderful um the yuba Sutter all veterans stand down is just an incredible place to be and I'm very excited that it not only happens during one weekend in August, but it happens year-round. And um, I think that when you come down here and experience this, you get a, a foretaste of what happens not only one day or one weekend, but every day out of the year, and I'm very excited about that. Awesome, I can see that. Awesome. Even as tired as he is, you still look excited. Yeah, thank you. We got Seth, man. We were talking about how to be a butler, butler for Christ, in, in helping people here at Stanton. What do you got, Seth? Well, I just, you know, I, I really think that the attitude here needs to be, and, and I've seen it in a lot of people, so I, I've been encouraged by this. I, I want to see it just promoted even more. Mm -hmm. I want people coming here saying, I, I'm here to be a butler, period. Mm -hmm. I'm here to serve. Mm -hmm. I'm here to serve these people who served us in combat. Mm -hmm. You know, regardless if I've served, regardless if anybody else has served, you know, just have that attitude of, I'm right. here for you, man. You want water? You want something to eat? You want something to drink? You just right. want to talk? You need a hug? What do you need? And we were kind of talking about the fact that a lot of these people that come here, it's like they're used to being treated like uh, criminals and herded around like cattle. It's such a beautiful thing when they come here and they're treated like human beings. What would you exactly. say to that? Oh, yeah, yeah. look, they have a name. Get to know it. They're a person. If I gave you 15 seconds to tell us just what, what everyone needs to know what's on Gary's heart, what would those 15, 20 seconds sound like? Uh, it would sound like peace as we started out with and uh, prosperity and relief of pain for those who are suffering.